Okay. <laughs> I came back to the RV. I'm like, oh, what happened? Birdie would lay on the couch. Oh, what is all this stuff? All over the floor. All over the couch. It is catnip. <laughs> there was a bag of pecans all over the floor. There's still a pecan there. My water filter. <laughs> a pair of, of uh, Miracle socks. Miracle copper socks. For my ankle. <laughs> well, I don't guess I'll be returning those. Light bulbs. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, birdie? Oh, what a mess. <laughs> what a mess. Oh, now I got a vacuum. All I wanted to do was come back and put on a pair of sweats and chill out. Put on some dry clothes. And this is the culprit. Birdie, did you do that? Huh? Did you make a mess? Did you? Look at that. What's my shoe doing out in the middle of the floor? You silly goose. Okay, today is December 16th, 2018. It's a decent day to paint. It's before noon and 63 degrees in here. So, um, yeah, it'll warm up, so it'll be good for painting. Let's go check out what I did the other day. Yesterday was not a paintable day. It was too cold. Awesome. I worked into the dark with a headlamp, which worked out pretty good. And uh, today, I am going to get some color on these cabinets. Awesome. Okay, catch you in a little bit. Okay, I have just opened my third gallon of white paint and just got it stirred. It is a little bit more stirring. And uh, so I got the second coat of paint on the back wall. And uh, second coat of paint inside the closets. That's all I'm doing with the closets inside of them that is and I'm working on the second coat of paint on this wall and I have the second coat on that wall and the back walls under the windows I still have to do those and uh, hopefully I can uh, get to the colored paints today too I have my second coat of paint up uh, you know, I was going to do color today. What time is it? I don't know. I think it's like 3 or 3.30. Debating on whether I should get the second coat up or not. I mean, the uh, coat of color. Of course, if I do, then that gets me one day closer to my goal. But this is how the room looks. That's a second coat of paint on the walls. One on the cabinets because those are just primed. I'm using paint plus primer, but I don't have to do another coat on the cabinets because I'm going to paint them in a color. Go over here, turn around, there we go. So I've decided the walls will be white, the cabinets, the exterior cabinets will have a coat of color and of course the doors will again be a different color and I think I'll get beadboard or something I'm not too sure yet but I decided to just go ahead and paint it anyhow okay I think I will I mean it's still kind of early so I think I'll go ahead and do my color the perfectionist in me would not let it go <laughs> I had to go ahead and put another coat of paint on the door I mean, I already have the roller. I already have the paint. Look how much paint I have left. I'm going to have a lot of leftover paint from this project. Oh well, that's okay. 
So, okay, we're I'm gonna put this in the bathroom, just uh, along the back shelf back there, and get busy with my other painting. Okay, <laughs> that's not actually the color. So I have to stir, stir, stir. And uh, yeah, I had the shaken, but it was a couple of weeks ago, so it settled again. And this is the color it's supposed to be, which doesn't help because my camera's not picking it up correctly anyhow. Okay, let's get stirring. Okay, um, since I had two gallons of paint that were pretty close to the same color, this one's in better shape. Doesn't make sense to keep stirring my arm off for one that's kind of gone bad. I mean, it's still usable if you paint it and, I mean, stir it really well. But I don't have to work as hard with this one. So we're going to go with this one. Okay, so what I'm doing is just taking my brush and very carefully going along the line. And that is the color for the bedroom. Okay, so here's the color. It looks a little orangey, but that might be because it's still wet. I hope. <laughs> I do like orange, but I don't exactly want to wet it. Okay, so I'll continue painting and we'll see what this dries and looks like when it's dry. I always forget to take pictures, so I thought I'd better stop and take some pictures before I continue on. Step back. There we go. Okay. The cabinets have their first coat of paint on them. It's different. <laughs> it's definitely different. So I hope I like it when I'm finished because uh, this looks orange. It actually it's kind of a peach and it wasn't exactly what I thought it would be. But you know, maybe once I get the curtains and everything up and the cabinet doors on and stuff, I'll like it better. I don't hate it. I just think it's kind of different. Wow. <laughs> Yesterday's RV. Today's RV. Okay, I'm going to take some pictures. I am finding it's easier to paint the bottom of the cabinet first. Because when you're painting underneath, you have to have something to lean against. And I didn't do that yesterday, so it was a challenge. Not a big challenge, but it was a challenge. I just changed my settings. I don't know if I had it on wide before or not. I don't think I did. So here we go. Let's go to the other end. Bathroom. It's kind of dark in here. <laughs> Time to call it a day. I've been down here for several hours working on this. Okay, what's, what's the temperature now? Okay, it is 65.8, almost 66 degrees. That works. I have to turn off my uh, sensors. Got blue flashes everywhere. So, uh, thank you again for watching another episode. I uh, really appreciate it. Appreciate your support, your comments. You know, whether your comments are good or bad, which I haven't had any bad comments because y'all are so wonderful. But, um, yeah, so, you know, not everybody's going to like this color, which is fine. That's what makes us all different and separates us as individuals. So, anyhow, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Y'all take care and live the life you love. Bye-bye.